Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at all of this. That was definitely worth it. We got ourselves a nice, nice haul. Hmm. Well, and also, yes. <laughs> More horrible, horrible information about, uh, well, our wonderful Duke in Drusari. Oh! Hello, the Ultra AC-20s. Well, that's a new variety of autocannon death. We're gonna have to look into that. But we got ourselves a Loki, a Thanatos, and a Thor. Let's go see what those are. Well, let's see. Well, first of all, uh, did we lose our AC-20? Well, rather, the arm got damaged, so it, just, it demounted it. But let's see here. What do we got here? We've got, holy hell. These are heavy, but Jesus goddamn Christ. 36 damage. Whoo, lad. We need a heavier chassis to put the shit on. So, uh, fortunately, we're gonna leave our bushwhacker behind for a minute and see if we can actually bring something together. Now, we got a Thor. Now, if I remember correctly, the Thor has blade. Well, this Thor is a little bit more balanced than the usual Thor. We've got Omni slots all over that goddamn place. And when you know it, we got enough... S <laughs> we got enough space! Look at that! Though, before we fuck with this, we're gonna look at the tonnages here. Okay, so we got... What do we got in the Thor? We got 70 tons. The Thanatos has 75 tons. And Loki has 65 tons. Loki, you are lightweight. Thanatos. It's already, it already comes with an LVX-20. I'm gonna have to take that out, though. Granted... You know... Well, we don't need to jump jets. Get that shit out of here. Hmm. Okay. Armor is basically topped off, so... MRMs, that missile arm is basically gonna be completely useless. An LBX-20, we're gonna have to take that off now to fit our wonderful Ultra AC-20s. Which has... What damage? What damage advantage? Oh, so... Okay, so the AC-20 does 18 damage with a recycle time of six. I'm assuming that's seconds. And it has a 250 uh, meter range. The LBX-20 has 300 meter range, 24 damage, and a six second real time. So basically a flat increase in effectiveness. The Ultra AC-20 has, well, about the same range as the normal AC-20. Kind of limiting but 36 damage, so even more damage. And basically the same exact re recycle time. So honestly, it's just a, well, it's a competition between the Ultra AC-20 and the LVX-20. I think we're gonna take the Ultra. So we got that. So can we cram that? Yes, yes, yes. It's all coming together now. You see, everything's perfectly fine. Though, I'm kind of sad that I won't be, be able to make any Thor's hammers jokes because I'm not driving that mech. I would have done the same thing. But, I like the Thanatos as well, and the Thanatos gets even less attention. Everybody likes the Thor. The Thor is like... Th the Thor is like up there with the Mad Cat in recognizability in the Battletech universe. But, today it will be the Thanatos, and it's just gallant goddamn stride. Now, as for, uh, uh, as for upgrades, what are we going to do with the, the rest of these? We want to make the Gallant Stride effective. We don't have enough tonnage, though. I don't think we need to go, yeah, 75 is pretty good for a heavy mech. 81, not, a, not that big of a drop. So we got an, a, a little bit of extra room to play around with in here. It's probably going to be lasers. Got six tons. Hmm. We don't have any large lasers, but we got large expulse lasers. We got these. I think we could probably stuff that on here and get away with it. Though the heat buildup's gonna be kind of a thing to manage. 
Let's see here. <laughs> I feel a little bit, uh... Uneasy about only taking 40 shots for the Ultra, since it does fire two at a time. So I think 60 should be... That, that should give us a pretty good tonnage rate. That should, uh, well, not really tonnage rate. That should give us some pretty long legs. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanatos! Leg jokes! That's uh, not very funny, but, uh... <laughs> but! I think we should... This should be a pretty okay mech. It's kind of like the Bushwhacker from Hell. So, since we do have a range difference, we're not going to waste the AC-20 ammo like that. So, one is the longage range, two is the middle range. Actually, all things considered, since we're going to be poking at things with the large pulse laser, I don't think we actually need to call in the LBX-10. So, yeah, actually just mount that to two and fire them at the same range. We don't fire it until we're at 250. We need to see two and three on the weapon selectors light up before we open fire with the auto cannons. Remember that, because I might not actually do it. <laughs> now, um, oh. Hello. <laughs> I totally missed this. What do we have in terms of, I suppose we trade? Thunderbolts, holy shit. <laughs> oh, we can trade mech chassis. Well then. I suppose we can just get rid of our lighter mechs. That is kind of discounting the whole thing, actually. Well, actually, I don't necessarily... Uh, we're pretty kitted out in terms of mechs. We've got a pretty solid lance here with uh, Thanatos, Loki, and Thor. We basically... By taking that mech base, we basically looted a much more effective lance. We don't really need to buy anything. Well, there's that. Okay, now. Thanatos. And I suppose we're going to we take the airbase now. We have a location on the local Trasari airbase. It is defended by mech patrols and turrets, as well as its attendant aircraft. Taking it out should lessen enemy air support in this theater of operations. Alright, so, uh, just a simple, uh... You know, walk in, clip their wings, walk out. Very simple. We got ourselves a heavy lance, and yeah, I think we're going to be pretty okay for taking, you know, just, you know, knocking over the barracks of a couple of fighter jocks. We'll be fine. Okay, Striker Lance. Op order as follows. Move to the airbase at Nav Alpha and destroy the air control tower and any aircraft hangars you encounter. Trasari Com intercepts indicate a significant mech presence in and around the airfield. Destroy any mech patrols in close vicinity to the airfield. Report ready op. Op order received. Striker Lance reports ready up. Roger. Op time is one, two, four, five hours. Mandrel out. Huh. Okay, Striker Lance. Keep a close eye on the scanners. They don't know we're coming, so let's maximize the surprise factor. We take out this airfield and we can expect a lot less air harassment in our future ops. Roger. I've had enough of these Drasari jet jockeys already. Well... That base is really heavily defended, though we are Stryker rocking one. basically they a heavy advise, The comm intercepts mark at least two mech patrols in communication with the airfield. Proceed with caution. All right, two mech patrols. Well, we've got a tremendous amount of firepower at our disposal, our disposal here, so... Uh, it's gonna get dicey when we actually get into those, uh... Those turrets, but I think we can handle it. I can poke these guys. Oh, there it goes. The purple laser has struck. Target destroyed. Ooh. That's a spooky looking helicopter. Target destroyed. Enemy detected. Got ourselves a- Whoa! Target destroyed. Jesus! Ah! God damn it! This is actually Target rather calm destroyed. music to be playing during a full-scale air destroyed. attack. Just saying. That was actually pretty, uh, whatchamacallit. It's actually pretty fucking scary there! Target destroyed. Uh, the, um... Hmm. That makes me, you know, remember. The, uh, the lighter vehicles had... The, well, actually, no, not like Vehicles in general, and also aerospace fighters, have a really, uh... They're not very, you know, they're not very showy in the MechWare games. However, on Tabletop Battletech, they're really fucking scary. 
Corrado has been showing me a thing called the Mech Buster, which is essentially a flying AEC, well, a flying LBX-20. So, yeah, just imagine, you know, four or five of them flying at you. Utterly terrifying. Though, uh, we won't be dealing with any of those today. Oh, look, it's another wolfhound. Ooh. <laughs> Excuse me while I poke you there. Hang on, just uh, just stand still for one moment. Just... Well, the LB, <laughs> the Ultra got him. Target destroyed. Though so my aim is somewhat off. Ooh. Target destroyed. Well, that puts light mechs down <laughs> into the dirt pretty hard, don't you think? We've got more helicopters, huh? Oh, this Raven is getting shot to shit. Striker. Whoa. Scratch Wondersari Mech Patrol. Target destroyed. Clear the skies. Poke. Just burn Target a hole right through destroyed. their engines. Alright, we got ourselves a catapult, a Ryokin, and... Well, there are the Calliopes. And who's it? Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's one of their Calliope turrets. The Calliopes scare me. Okay, so what are we dealing with here? Okay, so it looks like the patrol is actually moving out towards our position, which makes our, our lives a little bit easier. Can I poke him from here? Yes, I can. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna Target back up and let destroyed. that lance come to us. Very, very simple. We're gonna back up and let them make a horrible, horrible mistake. Yes, please, advance out from the cover of your turret defense network. This will probably not cost you your lives. However, my lance mates have taken it upon themselves to charge directly into the turret grid and attack the enemy. They will burn brightly in their enthusiasm. Uh, move just a little bit, just... Dead. There it goes. Okay, so... Actually, the smaller... The, the Ultra AC-20 has actual smaller projectiles. That's interesting. You just like... Just, thank you. Ow, wow, we almost cocked it in for Yoken. I think we might actually get away with it. Oh. Will you go down? Target destroyed. There it is. He also helped us with the catapult there. Thank you, sir! Mandrel, this is Striker. Report a second mech patrol has been eliminated. Good work, Striker 1. Move to Alpha and commence airfield assault. Well, we're going right into the turret nets. Great, awesome, fantastic, I'm happy. Do we have any... anything? Anything, well, hmm, got a couple of powered down mechs there. That might be a problem. I can poke at them with the pulse laser. Also, as you can see, we're burning through AC-20 ammo, so yeah, maybe the extra ton was the good idea. Target destroyed. Okay, one big scary calliope down. Enemy detected. Gotta get in closer here so we don't waste our ammo. Oh, oh, that's the heat buildup. Oh, Jesus Christ. Target destroyed. There's that. All right, I went. I read my weapon groups Enemy wrong. Detected. God damn it! So I just gotta memorize it now. Stand still. Get out of the stack ball zone. Target destroyed. Poke. All right, so we gotta use the X-Pulse laser very sparingly. It's a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a weapon of convenience. We just kind of poke at them. Target destroyed. Whew. Oh, there. Target destroyed. This might actually uh, soothe our woes here a little bit. 
that did not do what I want. Actually, no, that did. That did exactly what I wanted it to. Target destroyed. Except it didn't take out this turret. Um, we good? I think we're good. We did the thing. Oh, right, air tower. Or, well, I suppose there's other things. Oh, right, the hangers, too. Right, 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 right. I'm on it! I remember the objectives! I thought we were just gonna take the whole Strike fucking base. We're picking up a distress call two clicks southwest of the airfield. It appears to be rebel forces engaged with Jasari mechs in what should be an abandoned village. Forwarding. Any receiving station! Mongoose is down! Repeat, Mongoose is down! Jasari ambush at Calypso station! Request all units, reinforce Calypso! That's not our fight, but perhaps we shouldn't pass the opportunity to weaken Drasari further in the region. I'm uploading transmission origin as Nav Gamma. It's your call. What are we, a charitable institution all of a sudden? Striker 1, this is Mandrel. Exit point marked Nav Beta. Proceed to Beta and terminate mission or investigate conflict at Gamma. Damn. The ball is in your court. <laughs> Radcliffe, you fucking moron. Or is that Isabel? No, that's Radcliffe. I, 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 I see. I can tell them apart. Also, um, it looks like uh, Isabel lost her missile launcher. Oh well. She got a bit of a haircut there. But, uh, yeah. Once again, uh, why did I come up back over here if the gamma? If fucking goddamn math points. Stop moving around. <laughs> Says Fonto as he walks around in a fucking circle. Okay. Now. Once again, there seems to be really no good reason to not pass up helping the resistance. Really, I don't I don't see why anyone would really do this other than the, other than the fact that they're like hardcore role playing that they are in fact a cutthroat mercenary and they don't give no fucks. As a person who is attempting to wage apparently a destabilization you know, operation to ooh, that's a bit of a gulf. But as I was saying, as a person attempting to wage a destabilization operation on a planet, um, you know, actually assisting the main force that is destabilizing the enemy seems like a pretty good idea. Now we will gallantly stride across this dry lake bed to assist our friends in the resistance, in their fight against the bloodthirsty Enemy Duke detected. in Drusari. They will sing songs Enemy of praise for, us for all time. The Battle of Calypso Station will be remembered. Now that hardly looks like a fair fight. Let's even up the odds. Hmm. This fight shall be remembered for the moment that when all looked grim for the resistance. Fontoman and his gallantly striding Thanatos sauntered up over the hills and totally wrecked the scrubs. Ah, men! Mongoose is down! We need help out here! Any receiving station, please respond! Target destroyed. This is the voice of freedom! Fear not! I am on the case! Target destroyed. Well, there's that! This is Lance Leader Squire of the Kentari's Free Army. Identify yourself. Awfully bossy for a charity case. We're just passing through. Thought you could use a hand. Ah, uh, thanks. What unit are you with? I don't recognize the insignia. Like I said, just passing through. Maybe you'll return the favor someday. Striker 1, out. Have it your way. Squire out. Yeah, just passing through. We just happen to have a, you know, a heavy lance of battle mechs at our disposal. Nothing to see here. Just a normal Sunday news shit.